Hi everybody. This is our flipped assignments for elements of culture. Right now you should have your BOK -okay for unit two and you should have turned to page six in your BOK. -okay. At the top the page says culture. What is it? And this is the page we're filling out today. The very top, you have a box that says culture. Well, we're going to define it here. So you're going to fill out that box with the red letters. Culture, the definition for it, is the behaviors, beliefs, and characteristics of a particular social, ethnic, or age group. Basically, all the things that make up one type of people's way of life. So please write down in the box what we have written in red. We talked about this in school last week with ESPN. We talked about what culture meant. That it is the behaviors, the way you act around a certain group or the way you dress, how you relate to those people, beliefs that you have that are important to you, and the characteristics that make up some of the ways that you act with a group. Also, your ethnicity has to do with your race. All of those people that have come before you, what they added to your life and how they helped shape the way you are. Or even your particular age group, being around middle schoolers, specifically your sixth grade group. Remember to pause at any time you need to to help you finish up writing what you need to complete in your BOK. -okay. The way that we're going to talk about our elements of culture is the acronym GLACIERS. GLACIER stands for the G, Government, L, Language, A, Arts, C, Customs and Traditions, I, Innovations and Technology, E, Economics, R, Religion, and S, Social Organization. And so for every region that we cover and every culture that we talk about, we will go over each of these elements so that you have an understanding of what is happening in that culture in each of these areas. So, look underneath the box where you just wrote culture and see the big words that say elements of culture. You're going to see boxes over on the left hand side that are blank. And for each one of those boxes, you are going to fill in the following. In that very first box, you're going to put government. That is the G in glaciers. So in that first box on the left, write government in red, and you'll see that to the right it has the definition for government. Government provides for the common needs or protection, the order, and safety of a group. We talked a little bit about government when we went over ESPN and talked about politics. We said sometimes uh, government can be big, sometimes it's small. Remember how we talked about the government in your household are your parents. They're the ones that make the rules and make sure that things are done in an orderly and safe fashion and they provide for your needs and protection. That's also true all the way up to our national government. And those, um, the government helps provide for the safety and order for the rest of us in society. Our second box is L in glaciers for language. So please write that, the red word language, in your second box. The definition for language is the way thoughts, feelings, and knowledge are passed on. You need to remember, though, that not all language is verbal. Um, as you can see, our first picture there on the bottom is showing a man sign in doing a sign language. 
It's American Sign Language. It's a way that many people that have lost their hearing or are hard of hearing are able to communicate with one another. The guy in the middle there is showing a different type of body language. He's showing you that he's kind of angry or frustrated. There's a lot of ways that we communicate with one another. It's not just with our speech. We communicate through eye contact. We communicate through our body language, through our gestures, and that's another way that we communicate. Finally, the last person is talking on the phone, but we don't always have to talk. Again, you can communicate through email. You can communicate through texting. Not all language is verbal. The next one is arts. And I will apologize here because on our page six, we've got a couple of definitions that are in the wrong place. Um, you're going to see that when you look. If you put arts on the third one down, you're going to find that actually the arts definition is the fourth one down. So you can just make a little arrow to point to the right thing, or you can cross it out if you'd like to and write in the correct definition. But arts are things like dance, painting, drawing, the drama and literature, the music, and some of the visuals that you see in another culture. It's how people define themselves as a culture. And you can look and see that there's a lot of different cultures shown on these pictures at the bottom and they show for different reasons whether it's music whether it's something that they've painted whether it's particular dances or the way that they be uh, that they portray themselves in drama all of these have to do with arts and this is the a in glaciers your fourth box down is C for customs and traditions. And again, you're going to notice that um, the customs and traditions definition is the one that we just had for art. So again, if you need to uh, cross that out and write the correct definition, you can, or you can just put a little arrow showing the right definition. Customs and traditions are the accepted rules of behavior and tradition in the practice of that culture. You can look down at the bottom of the page and see several different types of traditions and customs that go on in the world around us. Um, some of these include holidays, like the picture on the bottom left corner shows a Christian tradition or holiday, which is uh, Christmas and decorating a Christmas tree. An American holiday is the 4th of July. A Jewish holiday is um, Hanukkah, and you see the picture of the menorah there in the middle. Another type of custom or tradition might be that far left picture where when you meet one another, you might shake hands or look one another in the eye, but that's not always the case in other cultures. You don't always shake hands when you meet or look one another in the eye when you speak. So we're going to learn about everyone's customs and traditions as we go through each of the regions. Number five is the eye, and it's the innovation that you're going to write in the fifth box down. It's not only innovation, but what we mean by innovation sometimes is the technology of that time. It's using 21st century advancements to adapt to our changing world. And many times for us, technology is very high tech. It is very advanced. In some regions, the technology is not that advanced, but you can see some of the higher advanced technologies on the pictures on this page, whether it's space technology and rocket science, whether it's using cell phones, whether it's email, using a computer, or satellite systems.
Our next box, number six down, is E in glaciers, and that stands for economics. This is how people use limited resources to satisfy their basic wants and needs, and it can also mean how people earn and spend money. So you may barter for something. You may exchange things and say, I have this and I want what you have. Can we change or exchange or barter? It can also mean exchanging money for items or services that you want. At the bottom of the page on the left, you're seeing a sign for the euro. Then the second picture to the right is money uh, and the money symbol. And then the last picture on the screen is the sign for yen. All of those are types of money that can be exchanged for a good or service that you would like to have. Next up in glaciers, we've got the R, and the R stands for religion. Again, guys, and I apologize, but the definition on your page six is reversed again. That bottom definition is the religion definition, and the one by the religion is actually for social organization at the bottom. So again, you can either cross out the definition and write the correct one or just simply put an arrow to show that the religion definition is answers the basic questions about the meaning and purpose of life. Your religion is usually a belief that you hold very dear to your heart. Religion is usually extremely important all across the world. And down at the bottom, you're going to see several different types of religious beliefs. Um, the first one at the bottom on the left is Christianity, symbolized by the cross. The next one moving to the right, you have a picture of Buddha standing for Buddhism. The next picture you have is another picture that would represent, it's not the symbol, but it's a symbol that represents Hinduism. The fourth picture going to the, to the right is the Star of David and represents the um, religion of Judaism. And finally, you have the moon and star, and that symbol represents Islam. And finally, our last uh, box is going to be social organization, and that's the S in glaciers. And again, we've got a flip definition there. Um, social organization's definition is how people and places are divided into smaller, more manageable groups. When I think about social, I think about people. So it's talking to me about the people that I'm around most. Those people include families, like the pictures on the far right of your screen. Um, the other people that I'm with often are those people that I share a common religious belief with. And there in the center, we've got a mosque, a synagogue, and a church, three of the places where people may go to worship. And then on the far left, we've got a picture of a neighborhood. Again, that's a smaller community where I might be a part of that social organization. Just like here at Stafford, we have a smaller organization in our sixth grade, or even smaller in our sixth grade social studies class. The last thing that you have on your uh, flip notes on page six at the bottom you've got several pictures. And what I'm gonna ask you to do before you come into class on Wednesday with your notes completed, is to look at each one of those pictures and decide which of those glacier are we talking about? Like you'll notice, the very first picture at the bottom shows a mask with a tragedy and a happy 